Ready? Go. Where are you doing? It's going. Ah! <laughs> 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 Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I know you guys miss me. <laughs> um, I hope everybody's safe. I hope everyone is doing well. And today I'm going to show you a quick and easy salsa for some pastor tacos. Um, these tacos are super easy and quick to make. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but, but these are the ones that are... In Mexico in a trompo you can find them at any restaurant Mexican restaurant and they serve them with some pineapple and the carne some cilantro cebolla so today since I don't have time to marinate it and what is it called oh my god I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna cook it really fast we bought some of the small tortillas and then we're gonna get our taco taco grub on so what I'm gonna do is I have about six chile de arbols. These are extra spicy. I have a couple of cloves of garlic, half a onion, some cilantro, two jalapenos, and one, two, three, four, five, six um, <laughs> tomatillos. All you need is a pan, some oil, salt, and we're gonna burn the chile de arbol first because this one, if you leave it too long, it will burn. And then it tastes um, amargo. ¿Cómo se dice amargo? Funky? No, it'll burn and you don't want your salsa to taste, it'll taste uh, bitter. Bitter, yeah. So my pan's already heated. I put oil. So we're gonna. <laughs> don't do Ow. that. Um, we're just gonna toss them in there. Let them cook. Can you hear the sizzling? okay you want that so we're just gonna toss them around the oil for like a couple of seconds um try to turn it just don't burn your hand like i did just toss them a little bit around and this salsa is really good with these tacos that, that i mentioned the pastor ones and then carne asada any any mexican food really um you can add it to your <clears throat> to any tacos or breakfast so okay so they're done so we're gonna take them out carefully and then we're gonna add everything else we're just gonna set them aside and then we're gonna add the onion and this you do want it to stay there for a little while the garlic as well only a couple of minutes maybe like one or two minutes and then you remove them and the tomatillos as well just when they're golden brown you don't want them to be super super burnt um you take them out you just turn them until they are a little golden brown and we're gonna put the cebolla and then lastly we're gonna put in the cilantro so it can cook a little bit but that's towards the end so we're gonna move these around And thank you everyone who's been liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. The people who comment and leave those um, wonderful comments about my my recipes that it helps you guys. It, that means a lot to me and to the YouTube trolls. <laughs> if you don't like me, then move away. There's some... Uh, internet trolls they're trying to ruin my my days but i don't care they're everywhere not only on youtube so i am glad i have been helping several people out with their cooking and that makes me very very happy okay so we're just gonna wait on it this is on a medium high heat so we're just gonna wait on it to finish sauteing and then i'll be back so I'm going to record this just because why not. Um, this is how I cook the meat. This one you can also find it at your local grocery, like Hispanic store in the meat market section. They'll even give it to you per pound. This one was, um, I bought it at my local 
um, LCD. Um, and then you just cook it. You don't even have to put a seasoning or anything because in reality there's already a lot of flavor in it. So all I do is cook it truly. Wait, that's how it's already. So yes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um but this is how I make it. And then when it's done, when it's completely cooked, what I do is I remove it from the heat, let it cool down a little bit, and then I will give it another like chop with my knife. That way it is uh <laughs> cameraman. He drunk on my face, it hurts. Sorry. <laughs> um please don't try this at home. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna let it cook and then I'll show you the final mm. product. <laughs> Are you recording? Yes. Okay. Okay, so everything's in the blender already. Everything is nicely um sauteed. So now we're gonna add a little bit of salt to your taste. Oh, I think that's good because you can always um fix the flavor once you blend it and try it and as you can see i upgraded my <laughs> a little bit dirty i upgraded my old blender they gave up on me so did i add the water no okay oh, Lord. we're having technical difficulties <laughs> so i'm gonna add a little bit of water just like a little bit just so that I can blend. <clears throat> Start re recording. And then you just want to put it on low for a couple of seconds. Let it blend all the way. And this is a green salsa. It's going to be green. You see how it's turning color? Because of the chicken. And there. So let me pour it in a bowl so you guys can see it. I added about a uh, half a cup of more water. So I'm gonna blend it a little bit more. Oh, what did I do? My bad. And then, oh, where's my container? I'll just put it in a plate. And it's the flavor is perfect, right, Ricky? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's spilled everywhere. Now we're gonna pour it in the bowl and wait for our meat to be ready so we can start eating. Okay, so this is how the carne should look. Oh, oopsie. Se le cayó. Okay, so over here. Oh, sir. I have some cilantro, cebolla, lemons. So this is how we're going to make the tacos. You put some cilantro. Some onion. As much onion as your heart desires. And then we're going to put some... Some Excuse us, the seeds. You just take them out. Come on. Just sprinkle some lemon. And then. <laughs> and then the salsa. So you put salsa on there. As much salsa as you want. And there you have it. Tacos al pastor with tomatillo and chile de arbol salsa. And then I was going to show you. I'm Thank sorry, you, guys. I'm That's sorry, guys. This guy over here, the cameraman, is fired. Not me. Not me. Not me. <laughs> These are my tacos al pastor. Julian, you just ruined my video. Oh my God. And that other guy so over there. I was going to show you guys that my comadre. Yeah. Um, makes these delicious mostachones cakes. She made me this one. Ready? One, two. Oh my god! Look at that. Oh my god! Shout out to my comadre Janet. 
um, she makes them here in Laredo. Whoever is interested, please leave a comment down below. Um, they are extremely delicious. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I promise I will be uploading regularly um, when I have time. Stop! Um, please stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, and um, 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 somebody came after me because I was saying um so many times. Um, 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 um. <laughs> I hope you guys like it and I will see you next time. Bye.